Welcome back to MMA Oddsbreaker. I'm Frank Trigg. That's Dennis Superman Holman getting ready to fight John Fitch coming up here on World Series of Fighting 11 on, um, against John Fitch. It's, it's uh, on July 5th, rather. At first, when you called me, I thought that you were in the hospital bed with your, with your uh, oxygen tube in. Where are you right now? I'm at uh, Newly Hyperbarics in uh, Lacey, Washington. It's a basically hyperbaric chamber adding oxygen to my muscles, letting my body get oxygenated so I can heal quicker and, uh, and my body can, or my muscles can have uh, um, better cardio, basically. When, uh, when did you start doing this? Or has it been, been around started for a while? I started this about uh, six weeks ago. Oh, okay. So I've been doing it, I've been doing it for, uh, oh, I'm sorry, about, about four weeks ago. Yeah, about a month out. And I've been doing it five days a week, so... Oh, it's helped a lot. How long? How long are you in the chamber for? Every time you go in, you go in for an hour. So your body's fully oxygenated, all your muscles after after forty five minutes. Oh wow! Okay. Actually, I'm babysitting at the same time. Um, on the other side of the chamber, it's big enough. I got. Uh, you can see my two kids are in here with me. Oh geez. Well, I don't know if you can. There you go. Yeah, I can see them over there waving. Jeez, good for you. So you get the yeah. babysit and recover at the same time. What what are they doing? Are they watching uh, um, iPads or what are they reading books? Yeah, or? they're just on there. On their, my son's on his phone and my daughter's on her uh, on her um, Nintendo thing. Oh, okay, good. So they're occupied, not driving you nuts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about John Fitch. Um, you got fifty three wins, which more than doubles his twenty five wins. I mean, you've obviously been around the game a lot longer, had a lot more fights. What does John Fitch? bring that you haven't seen yet or how is he different from any other opponent um john is i don't know if he's different he's just very well-rounded he's uh got it all you know he can strike with you he can he can grapple um you know he's obviously he is famous for the grind you know employing the grind on his on his opponents um i think he brings that better than anybody i've faced so it's a new challenge for me um but being around as long as I have, I don't know if there's going to be anything that I haven't seen before, but it's just dealing with somebody's specialty that, I, that I've that i had to prepare for. Did you bring in somebody special into your camp to specifically help you beat, you know, beat, beat John Fisher every time you sparred? So um, just in the last couple of weeks, because uh, I really didn't know too long, you know, I was training for a tournament, but um, I brought in a guy named uh, James Johnson. He's a, he's a Greco, um, he's on the Greco world team for Team USA. He's a really talented Greco guy. And how is, has he fought at all? Is he just, uh, he's sticking strict chicken with Greco right now? He's just a purple belt in jiu-jitsu and uh, a Greco guy. But, um, you know, he could, uh, training with him, he could fight professional at the, at the highest level right now. Yeah. How was it, what was it like the first couple of times you worked out with him? Was it grueling when he's just on top of you the whole time, you can't get him off because of his style? Or were you able to find some yeah, sticks to get out? That, you're familiar with that. That's, that's how it was. Like, the guy was just a beast, you know, and the, and. Those guys that train up there at the OTC, they're just, uh, you know, you know the, the grueling type. So I had to deal with, um, you know, figuring them out. I, I, I'm doing much better now, but just, uh, you know, figuring out how to how to find his body balance and that kind of thing, getting him off me was, was a challenge. And I think it definitely um, helped me prepare for John. Did you watch um, any, which, any particular fight from Fitch that you watched in his past that kind of gave you a real good insight to, to how he's going to fight? Um, I watched a little bit of the Damian Maya fight. Um, I watched, uh, obviously the, uh, the, I watched the live one when he fought, um, Berkman, but I, you know, that was just getting caught that you can't really take anything from that. Cause you know, Berkman, Berkman, uh, imposes will real quick, but those kind of things you can't count on. Um, I saw his fight against, uh, before I fought, um, Ben Saunders, I saw his fight against Ben because I was training to fight Ben. So I know his, I know what he's going to bring, and um, uh, I'm, I'm preparing for it. Do you think John's doing anything different trying to get ready for you? Um, I don't think so. I think that he's – I think he looks at the fight the same way. I would assume he's looking at the fight the same way that I, I look at it, just uh, prepare for anything and, uh, you know, try not to make mistakes. All right, so what, what have you done differently in this camp besides bringing James Johnson to help you get ready for this fight? Have you done anything else as far as strength and conditioning goes to get ready in the hyperbaric chamber? Um, besides the chamber, I was just doing the same things. I was getting ready for that uh, that eight-man tournament. Mm -hmm. So trying to get my body you know, ready for three fights in one night. Um, my game plan for that tournament was to try to you know, go out like a, like a sprinter. You try to finish those fights as quick as you can. 
so that you can take the least amount of damage. Um, a little bit of change up, you know, I got a Reaper. John's uh, pretty uh, notorious for being able to survive, uh, you know, like he did against BJ Penn, pretty able to survive uh, the onslaught and come back and, and post his will. So, you know, I got to, I prepared myself for the grind. Well, that's Dennis Hallman right now located in a heavy barrack chamber. Dennis, thanks for coming out here to Emily Asbury and spend a couple of minutes with us. Appreciate it. Good luck this weekend against John Fitch. For sure. Thanks, man.